Hey everybody, what's going on? So on Monday, I did a video where I talked about how domain.com and system.io do not play nice together. Just if you've got system.io, I'm going to tell you right now, you do not want to get a domain name through domain.com. And if you have a domain at domain.com, it's not going to work on system.io. They just don't play nice together at all. So in that video, I said the best workaround is to get yourself set up on Cloudflare. Now, Cloudflare, even if you don't have your domain set up on domain.com, I still recommend getting set up on Cloudflare. It's more secure. It's faster. It also allows you to do certain configuration settings that you can't do at, say, domain.com, or you might not even be able to do at your other domain name registrar. So we're going to do two things. We're going to go ahead and transfer everything over from your domain registrar to Cloudflare so that Cloudflare will now be controlling all your DNS settings. So then what we'll do is we'll go into system.io. We'll grab all of the necessary DNS settings that we're going to need from there and configure those on Cloudflare so that your domain name will be all set and ready to go on system.io. Let's jump on over and I'll show you how to do all this. All right, we're in Cloudflare. If you don't have an account yet, you're going to want to get an account. Uh, if you're signing up for the very first time, it'll have kind of a walkthrough process for you. Um, in this case, I'm already set up. I've got my Cloudflare account. I'm logged into it. We're going to go up here to add site. From here, it's going to ask us, enter an existing domain name. And in this case, we're going to do success with memberships.com. And what it does from there is it will look up and find where your domain name is registered. And then it's going to actually look at the DNS settings that are there at the registrar and let you know, hey, we've got these settings for, you know, got these settings. You want us to transfer these settings over to Cloudflare. It's really, really cool. It's all automated. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down here and we're going to click on free. And we'll go ahead and click on confirm plan. And again, right here, add DNS records for success with memberships.com. We're going to just say uh, start a quick scan. Again, it's really not that big of a deal because most of the stuff that is over there at your other registrar, um, if you've already got your system.io account set up and it's going to pull all those settings over, but in this case, we don't have system.io set up. So everything that is pulling over right now, it's got a C, uh, an A record. It's got a C name record and five MX records. Most of these are just going to be trashed, but we'll go ahead and click on continue. So at this point, what we need to do is we need to grab these Cloudflare name servers and we need to go back to our domain name registrar. So if you've got it at Namecheap, you go to Namecheap. If you've got your, if you bought your domain name at GoDaddy, then you're going to go to GoDaddy and you're going to change the default name servers that are over there for this particular uh, domain name and you're going to replace them with these ones. So I'm just going to click on copy for the first one. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Namecheap. Now over in Namecheap, we're going to go to our domain list. We're going to scroll down. We're going to find that domain in question. All right. We're looking for success with memberships.com. And we're going to click on manage. Once in there, now that we're managing it, there's going to be a place for name servers. Right now, we've got these are, these are the default name servers for Namecheap. We're going to click on the drop down. We're going to click on custom DNS. I'm going to enter the first one that I copied over. We're going to go back to Cloudflare. We're going to grab the second one. We're going to pop that in. We're going to click on the green check mark. All right. So it's everything saved. Now what we need to do, and this could take a few minutes. We're going to go ahead and just click on continue. And uh, it's pending activation. That makes sense. It's letting us know that it's initializing and pulling things over. That's okay. We can go ahead and just click on continue to success with memberships.com overview. This right here, when it goes from pending name server update, it'll go to active. All right, let's just do a quick refresh here. It's been a few minutes. Should be fine by now. Looks like uh, there it is, active. So we're now active. Now what we want to do is let's pull over our system.io dashboard. And now what we need to do 
is pop this over here is go and set up our DNS. And what we're going to do is we're going to now connect our mydomain.com, whatever that domain is, this now going to be controlled on Cloudflare. That's where the DNS configuration settings are going to be. And you want to set your domain name up so that it works with system.io. Okay. So we're in our system.io dashboard now. We're going to go up here to our profile picture. We're going to click on settings. Scroll all the way down and right here in the custom domains, click on that. Right now we have just a default domain name that's given to us when we sign up for system.io. We want to have our own domain name. So you click up here on the blue add domain button. And then here you're going to type in www, whatever your domain name is, mydomain.com. In this case, it's success with memberships dot com with an S and it'll click on save. At that point, it's going to pull it up and it's going to be in a pending status. Okay. It automatically popped up with the DNS configuration uh, settings that we're going to need to go and copy and put on to our DNS configuration over in Cloudflare. So this is what we'll need here. And for the very first one, something you need to really keep in mind here with any, whether you're setting this up on Cloudflare or Namecheap or GoDaddy, doesn't matter. The main thing you got to keep in mind here is you're only going to copy the www. In this case, I'm not going to even worry about copying it because I'll remember that. But you only want the www. All right, that's going to go in the name section over in the configuration settings. And I'll show you what I mean here in a minute. Uh, it's going to be a C name record. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab this whole thing. And I'm going to copy everything but the period at the end. Control C for a copy or right click and copy. We're going to go back over here to our Cloudflare setup. We're going to go over here to DNS. Click the drop down. We're going to go to records. So this is everything that it pulled over from Namecheap. I don't need any of this. Uh, if you had already had system.io set up, you would just be leaving everything alone here, but you would want to make sure that nothing says proxy. That's important. Uh, in this case, I'm blowing all this away. I'm going to literally delete all of this. Now, if you're at all worried about, hey, I don't really want to be deleting stuff. Should I be deleting stuff? Take a screenshot of it. Uh, a simple screenshot of this is going to give you everything you need. But the only other thing that I would do here before a screenshot would be to click in here and get edit so that you could get this whole address here. What this whole content right here, because it cut it off just so you, you know what, what actually went here in the content box. Um, but all these other content boxes are there. All right. Uh, so in this case, again, I'm deleting everything. I don't need them. Again, you could leave these if you wanted to. But again, when you go to set up your own email, if you're setting up your own email, uh, you won't need any of these. You'll want to replace them. All right. Just going through and deleting it all. And now I'm fresh. All right. So again, we're going to go up here to add record. It's going to be a C name record. It's going to be the name is going to be www. And now we're going to paste in that value that we copied over from system.io. Again, this proxied status right here, you have to switch that off. It needs to be DNS only. You can leave the TTL time to live to auto. That's fine. We're going to click on save. Okay, now we're going to come back. And same thing here. We want everything before your domain name. So we want all of this right here. I'm going to copy that. We don't copy any, we don't copy the period and anything after. I'm going to go back here. Again, it's going to be another C name record. Click on add record. Use the drop down. Click on C name. Paste that into the name. And now we're going to go get that target. In this case, it's everything all the way up to that period. Okay. Paste it in. 
Again, make sure that's DNS only. Again, time to live at auto is fine. Click on save. We're not done yet. All right. If you were to stop right here, when somebody went to www.mydomain.com, they'd get there. But not everybody uses www. What happens when somebody just goes to mydomain.com? They're not going to get there. So we now have to do one more setting in here to make sure that anybody that goes to mydomain.com still gets to www.mydomain.com. And here's how you do that. You're going to go in here and you're going to click on add a record. Okay. And this is why uh, domain.com and system.io don't play nice together. Domain.com does not let you add this CNAME record. So we're going to go up here and click on CNAME. And this time we're going to do the at sign. And that at sign is basically saying, again, anybody that goes to mydomain.com, send them to www. And then put your mydomain.com in here. So in this case, it's success with memberships.com. Again, click this off. You want DNS only. Time to live. Again, auto. Save. Okay. So we're set now. All right. We've done everything that we've done, need to do here to connect our domain to system.io. If you were to try and, and this is going to take a little while. All right. Getting things set up on Cloudflare is a matter of minutes, it seems like. Getting all these other things kind of in place and propagated and uh, synced up with system.io, it could take hours. So if you're feeling like, you know, if you try to go to your site and it's not pulling up, don't fret. Give it two or three hours and then come back. And, and it's, I know it's kind of, it's a bummer to have to wait that long. That's just how long it takes with the wait. All right. Let's go back over to Cloudflare. Reason being, there's still one other thing that you really need to make sure that you're focused on with, with Cloudflare in order to make this work properly. You want to go over here to your SSL TLS, Secure Socket Layer, uh, Transport Layer Security. And you want to use this drop down and you want to go into Overview. In here, if this is on Flexible, which normally it is, you want it to be on full. Make sure that this radio button or this little circle is set to full. Okay. Once you've got that set to full, you're good. Okay. At this point, we, we are really, uh, there's nothing else that you need to do uh, other than wait. Okay. Once this is ready to go, it'll say ready to use. And then we'll be able to go and say, hey, use this domain as our system.io site. Does that make sense? So we're, we're set, folks. You now have our setup on Cloudflare. You now have your DNS settings that you need configured to play nice with system.io and add your custom domain. And now you're ready to go. If you're really liking these videos, we have a whole playlist on system.io. Check it out. Thanks for watching.